Covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, today's thunderstorms signal a change with our weather. Let's take a look at that change with your seven day temperature trend. Instead of highs in the 80s, we're going to be looking at lower 70s tomorrow afternoon. That's well below normal. Mid 70s on Wednesday, but the 80s return as we move towards next weekend. In fact, Saturday and Sunday will feature high temperatures in the mid 80s. Right now, a couple of spots are still in the 80s. We've got 80 in Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, in Berlin, but off to the north and west behind a cold front that's kicked off the showers and thunder storms. Temperatures have now dropped into the 50s. Right now in Green Bay, the temperature is 79. Look at that dew point. It's 70. It's very sticky out there. You can see those thunderstorms approaching from the west with south winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. NBC 26 precision radar shows a large area of showers and thunderstorms moving across northeast Wisconsin, but the activity is starting to fall apart just a bit as it makes its way off towards the north and east. Let's zoom in to the thunderstorms we've been watching for the last couple of hours. They're now lining up from the western side of Green Bay up through extreme southeastern Oconto County out over the bay into central and northern Door County. This activity could still produce some very heavy rain and possibly some gusty winds as well. Now the thunderstorms that have been moving across northeast Wisconsin have been intense. They've been producing some severe weather, but not a lot of lightning. I mean, that is the one thing that really stands out to me here big time with the fact that we had a tornado on the ground today. There is no cloud to ground lightning with those thunderstorms at all. It's just almost showers with a tornado. Unbelievable. Here's a look at the storm reports. We had three confirmed reports of tornadoes, one right near the Wapaka Shano County line. Then we had one just to the south and east here of, let's say, uh, central Shano County, one close to Shano, the city of Shano. And we just got a report of some tree and power lines down near Gillette. Uh, this is the area right in here that we did see some debris show up on the radar. Uh, debris as in something off the ground that's being tossed up into the sky. Now, believe it or not, not. We just had a marginal threat for severe weather across the area today. Uh, the threat was not there for widespread severe weather, but you can still see, you know, isolated strong to severe thunderstorms in that type of situation. Everything developing ahead of a cold front, which is now pushing into eastern Wisconsin. Behind that cold front, some major changes. A big drop off in temperatures compared to yesterday afternoon. Many spots running 15 to 25 degrees cooler, in fact. So instead of highs in the 70s and 80s, many spots are only in the 60s. And that cooler weather is headed south and east. We're going to see high temperatures tomorrow only in the lower 70s across northeast Wisconsin. Our normal high is 80. I mean, we had a taste of fall last week, and it looks like we're going to see another little taste of fall as we head into tomorrow as well. Upper 60s to lower 70s across the area with a gusty north wind. Precision cast shows that line of showers and thunderstorms moving across the area this evening. Behind it, cloudy skies, maybe a a few lingering showers and then tomorrow we'll see a mixture of sunshine and just a few clouds as we head into the afternoon. So your forecast for tonight calls for showers and thunderstorms coming to an end. It's going to turn breezy behind that cold front. Overnight lows will be in the 50s. Tomorrow breezy and cooler with much less humidity. We're going to take those dew points in the 70s and drop them all the way down into the 40s. That is very comfortable for the month of July. We'll see a lot of sunshine on Wednesday, maybe a passing shower south Thursday morning. Besides that, a decent amount of sunshine and warmer. Some sunshine on Friday. High temperatures will be in the lower 80s. Now there's a chance for a couple more thunderstorms over the weekend on the northeastern side of a hot and humid air mass. We'll be in the mid 80s. We'll cool down a little bit as we head in the next week with highs in the 70s to around 80 degrees. So it turned out to be a very active day across <laughs> northeast Wisconsin. Once again, we will be sending our reporters out to find out exactly what happened. And the National Weather Service will be conducting a survey tomorrow uh, to determine the intensity of the tornadoes and how many actually touched down.